You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here, gentleman poet and storyteller. I have a great show about wood stove memories for you today. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV, my opening thought. Everybody needs beauty as well as bread. Places to play in and pray in where nature may heal and give strength to body and soul. Large fluffy snowflakes had fallen all afternoon. So after supper, I decided to go for a walk in the new snow to quiet myself from the day's worries. Hmm. I noticed smoke curling from the chimney of the house across the street. And the scent of burning wood mixed with the cold night air brought back memories of the years I lived on a small farm in Kansas. There I discovered the pleasures of burning firewood in a wood stove. The wood stove was efficient and radiated warmth throughout the house. On snowy days, when I came in from the cold with dripping boots and soaked gloves, I pulled a chair close, but not too close, to the old wood stove and let my wet clothes and boots dry. Sometimes, in the evenings, I'd get a fire going and curl up on the couch with a cup of coffee. The old stove creaked and cracked as it heated up. And later, as it cooled down, it would make similar noises. My dogs, Dick and Dan, followed my example and curled up on the kitchen floor. Every so often, I'd get up from the couch, add wood to the stove, look out the kitchen window to check the thermometer, and refill my coffee cup. As if on cue, Dick and Dan would also stand, stretch, and circle. Then scratch the rug, and again, curl into tight balls on the floor. <laughs> Occasionally, one of them would let out a soft yelp and squirm about, probably chasing a rabbit or a squirrel in his dreams. Sometimes I'd fall asleep on the couch, enjoying the warmth and quiet of the evening. Eventually, the room began to chill and I'd awaken, knowing the stove was hungry again. I miss our special times on the farm and the simple pleasures that I had. Let me share this poem. I dream of the farm where we looked up at the stars and heard coyotes and windmills instead of cars. Maybe I'm dreaming, but dreaming's okay. It helps this old cowboy get through the day. Gives my old brain time to unwind, knowing tomorrow it's back to the grind. I'll pet my dogs before I turn out the light. They're wishing like me 
we were elsewhere tonight. For now my dreams have to wait. At least for now, this is my fate. Lucky for me, I still have my pets. So I stop once a day and remember, this is as good as it gets. Whenever I get a whiff of wood smoke in the cold air, it rekindles warm memories of long winter evenings in the country with my dogs and my wood stove. Friends, I'll have to let you go until next week because the pups are ready for feeding time. <laughs> As always, you can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 Until next week, this is John Willard from the farm.